What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Another great episode to give you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully help take your relationship to the next level, to the highest peak you could possibly get and have fun doing it. So uh, this week is a pretty good topic. I think this is for couples that when they start to get more serious, um, this conversation is gonna come into play. And you might have had this conversation with your significant other about what you wanna do. So let's talk about the topic today that we're gonna talk about. That is, dun dun dun, little weddings versus big weddings. Mm. And what does it mean to you, right? And what would you wanna do or what did you do? And would you do it again? So at that point, you know, this one hits home on different people in different ways. Yeah. You know, some people have big budgets. Some people have little budgets. Some people have no budgets. Some people just have, <laughs> uh, you know, different preferences of what they want. So this is a really, really big, big topic, I think, with yeah, couples. Think so. You know, first, you know, you get to meet somebody. You start dating somebody. You guys fall in love. Uh, at that point, the engagement comes. And when the engagement comes, after that, you're going to plan that wedding. How long is it going to take to plan that wedding? When is that wedding going to happen? Wow. Uh, you know, obviously COVID <laughs> threw a monkey wrench in for a lot of people that want to have their weddings. Oh, yeah. Um, and the and size of their have, weddings. Like, tele-weddings or whatever it was. Uh, you know, yeah. Some people's weddings really got <laughs> ruined with, with COVID. So, yeah. you know, taking COVID out. Let's say everything is perfect out there and uh, you have no restrictions whatsoever. Um, you know, when you have this conversation, you know, with your significant other, you guys really are going to talk about it, right? And I think there's a whole bunch of different, like like I said, things that people are going to say or the way they feel about it. You know, especially, I think, females. I think girls are more into, I want the dream wedding. I want the big wedding. I want everybody to attend. I want the perfect dress. I want all the flowers. I want the yeah, best Yeah, they got the bridezilla dishes. and shows yeah, and stuff yeah. like that, right? <laughs> yep. No, but, I mean, me personally, like, this was a thing, you know. So when I was little... All these girls, they dream of like the, you know, the, um, like the horse and carriage and, you know, falling out of the sky and all these things and, you know, big weddings and a big long dress and, you know, this big long trail or train or whatever they call it. The storybook, so, the storybook the, wedding. The storybook wedding, right? So me personally, I've never actually like dreamed or thought or even honestly cared about something like that like I wasn't little and I was like oh man I want to do this and I want this dress and I want to be on a little thing and get there was literally like no thought process behind it whatsoever it was just kind of like yeah wedding cool all right no big deal so you know some people it's a really big deal too yep. I mean especially you know cultural people they they have like in the Indian culture right or Greeks or Greeks you know they have a they have very special things that they do they might put on saris you know whatever it might be and it's it's a very cultural type thing then you have some people you know they may not have the budget to do a big wedding cuz think about it weddings aren't cheap no okay i mean even like for john's birthday if i wanted to pay like set up everybody's plate I and mean, we're talking big bucks here right even if it was let's just call it if it was 35 or 40 dollars a plate and you invite let's say you invite over a hundred people you're just that's just food right we're not talking about the decorations right. the band right. you know the With cake the yeah. your dress your yeah. shoes Flowers, his tux. Yeah, i mean there's so much to go into it right I me mean, personally i'm not i'm not really that girly girl that like wants to plan things and you know wants to put together this cool you know outstanding girly girl thing that was just me personally so you know john lucked out <laughs> <laughs> he got he got lucky, right? I, th I think honestly, John, you probably wanted to probably want a, you were more into like the bigger wedding. I want, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Greeks and we do it right. You know, yeah, they you do. Want to make sure that you know everybody's there. Um, you have a great wedding, you know, church wedding, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, some of these different things that you know that it's just tradition, right? And yeah. that's that's what it is. And uh, I think with especially the Greek culture, um, you know, exactly. that's what it is, right? We yeah. like we like to dance, we like to you know we like to drink. 
We like to enjoy celebrate. and celebrate, right? And so, you know, I guess it's different for everybody out there, especially, like I said, what's going on right now, or let's just take it away of, you know, just daily life. Um, mm-hmm. You know, but listen, it is what it is. You know, at that point, if two people love each other, I, you know, I That's think That's all that, that really matters, right? That, you know, you can have any sort of wedding, whether it's just you going down to the justice of the peace and getting married or eloping. And at that point, you guys can have a very successful marriage. It doesn't take a big wedding to create a successful marriage. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just, you know, like I said, some people have these, you know, they have these dreams, these girls or guys too, that they want these big weddings or they think this is what a wedding should look like. And if it doesn't happen like that, then they don't really want to do it. They don't feel right about or it. Or maybe they don't think like, I don't know. I think that it has like an impact on like how they feel about, you know, this each other. Don't like love me. they don't love me. You They're know, not it's, do this for me. You know, and honestly for, you know, I, me personally, to me, like marriage, it really is just a piece of paper, yeah. right? It really is a piece of paper. Yeah. I mean, when you start getting into the bigger bucks and the bigger money and you start <sighs> making a little bit more money, Pre-dup. then it's more than just Post a piece up. of paper. <laughs> <Post up. laughs> There is a such thing. Is there really? There is such, such, such thing as a post up. No way. Yes, there is 100%. I'll so, never be signing yeah, that. So definitely <laughs> prenup for sure, if, you know, out there. And, you know, that, that's the no, that's a whole other conversation, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I have friends out there that, you know, they're, they're in those higher levels. Uh, and prenups are definitely in there. So mm-hmm. that's and another that, thing. That, that's, that's in a whole other, yeah, that is a that's whole, a whole other, other topic. That's a whole other conversation. That's a whole other topic. For sure. But, you know, it's just, um, it really, it really is just a piece of paper, right? Because... You know, and then the next thing is, is on the same topic, right? They say that once you get married, that things change. Mm, true. Right? True. Haven't you heard that? True, yeah. Like, you know, things change once you get married. Yeah. Like, the set, the mindset changes or, like, now you're in a comfortability mode yeah. and it's not dating mode anymore and all the dates disappear. Or things change, right? Uh, you know, I just... Well, it didn't with us, so it's hard for us to really talk on that topic specifically. But, I mean, it, they say that it does, right? It, it does, and I think different people do. And I don't think it's just with, with marriages. I think it's just relationships in general, you know, because think about it. You know, when you're in the honeymoon phase and begin the relationship the first six months, per se, in most relationships, it's, it's just goo goo gaga. After you get past the first one or two years, then it's kind of, you know, you're starting to get more relaxed, I guess, in the relationship. Mm-hmm. That's where complacency or all these other things come about. Uh, so if you keep going on, per se, after two or three years, you know, it's kind of where you hit the complacency. I guess when marriage hits for sure, then you're like, oh, well, I'm with this person forever at this point. Well, mm-hmm. I won't do anything. I won't go work out like I usually went and worked out to keep myself fit like I usually would. Or I won't do this or I won't do that. Or, you know, you know if she's buying me, I'm going to fart on her or whatever it may be. Oh, my gosh. So He's going to fart on you. There's different things out there, you know, that, that <laughs> couples have to go through, you know, in complacency. Guys, just for the record, just so you know, okay, I don't care who you are. It's not okay to fart around your significant other, Okay. I mean, you can't, guys can definitely get away with this, right? Yeah, so girls just, know. You kind of do it and it's like, whatever, you're just a guy, right? <laughs> but if you're a girl. You have the excuse. <laughs> you're a man, all yes. right. You're 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 allowed yes. two farts per day, yes. right? However, if you are a female, do not get comfortable and do this. Don't you do This is not a cute look. No. And don't turn around and smile about it because I can assure you, they might smile back, but... They're really not thinking what's on their face. Yeah, when you get in the bedroom, you start thinking about this. It's no go. No go. You'd be damaging your sex life with this. Don't do it. All they can think about is when the last time you farted. Let's like, have some cute. fetish that I don't know about. You know, that's a whole different story, too. So. <laughs> So, oh yeah, so, I mean, this is just something to think about, you know, and, and listen, if you don't want a big wedding and your significant other does, so let's say you're a guy, you're like, listen, I just don't want a big wedding, whatever it may be, and they do, you guys are going to have to talk about this. Mm-hmm. This is this is a serious conversation when you're in a relationship. That's what we talked about last week or one of the other weeks when, you know, talking about some of these big things as you get into the relationship to know where it's going to go or to make sure that you guys aren't going to have those no goes as far as what you guys are doing, mm-hmm. whether it's for your kids or for you know for your religion or for how you're going to get married. The religion's a big one too, you know, because I mean, and I'm, I'm going to use the Greek culture specifically, um, and even the Indian culture, right? So 
there are some people that refuse, right? They, they're like, listen, I'm not going to be like, you know, like Catholic, right? I'm not going to be married outside of a Catholic church or right. a Greek Orthodox church. I'm not going to get married outside of that. And that is what it is. And it has to be right. done that way. Right. That's just like, it's, it's a, it's a religious thing. Sometimes you have the cultural thing, you know, like the Indians, they have very, this, this type of setup with, you know, <laughs> whatever they call it, the saris. And they got these little bags of like mushed up stuff. I forget what it's called. Sorry, mom. But it, you know, Indians it, it, usually have three like parties, celebrations, right? It's like three parties. I just know that they have these very. I know that they have like the Indian wedding, and then after the Indian the ceremony, then you have like the wedding, right. and then you have the reception. Right. So it's kind of like it's that. It's the three parties, yeah. But you know, um, some people are just that. You you might be able to. T this is what he was saying. You know, like to talk it out in the beginning and yeah. be like, you know, is this something that we can work out? Because yeah. listen, if you really truly love someone, that will trump anything yeah. right if you really truly love someone you're gonna work with them or figure out how to make it happen because you love them that much nothing else matters yeah. like nothing else in the world matters yeah. except for you and him or you and her yeah. right yeah. nothing else matters I mean and kind of think about it like this too as well you know now listen this is a special day and you want to make it special for your significant other whether it's your girl or your husband whatever it may be so at that point, keep that in mind when you're playing this. This is a one-time thing, hopefully. That's what you're betting on, right? <laughs> Not nowadays. You don't want it to be multiple because you really be hurt in a lot of ways. But one time. So make it special. Whatever it is, whatever your budget is, you can make it special. Mm -hmm. Whether it's having a big wedding where everybody comes in and you want to do that and you're good with that and you're spending the money. Or you're like, hey, listen, we got to save money. Or we could maybe buy a house with this money. Or we could take something the money different. and go on a vacation. But we could still do something right. special, you know, as far as for this day. And we can always remember this day too as well. You know, listen, even dressing up and getting the pictures done for your photography, mm -hmm. you know, that could be inexpensive. That right. knocks out a big thing. Your memories and all this good stuff um you can have something small you can invite you know, your closest people um like kind of how we did and at that point you know you'll be good to go um mm -hmm. you know we didn't have a big wedding you know mm -hmm. it was it wasn't in the, the books financially for it us was not in the books um, financially. what we want to do at that point we're like ah, oh, we'll do it later we'll do the big wedding later. We'll do the big wedding later. you, you know, know i still think right because we'll be rolling up on 15 years probably really soon i think that might be too soon so maybe at 20 year mark right maybe at the 20 year mark i really think that me and john should do like a Renewment renewal. of vows. Oh, like we don't need to renew anything, but we'll just call it that. Um, just to have the party. The real. But I think really at that point in our lives, you know, hopefully, obviously, we should hopefully be okay financially. I would hope so, and then be able to do something really cool to make up for you know not having the big wedding. You know, yeah. I'm not planning this though. For the record. On the record for this episode, I'm not planning this wedding. Somebody else. I picked the colors blue and white. The rest of it. Somebody yeah. else going to do it for me. Yeah, I'm not the planner. Yeah. But so, I think it'd be cool. It'd be yeah. cool. It'd be cool. We'll see what happens. 20 years. It's a long time. Uh, yeah, you know, hopefully. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be 60 in 20 years. No, you're well, not. not. at 20. Oh, my goodness. You know, 20 be, years we've been, ma we've been married, not 20 so, years from now. Let's say it's another six years. I'm going to be 46 years That's old. That's not that old. He literally said that he's going to be I'll 80. I'll be closer to 50 than I will be 40, so we're on the older side there. <laughs> Did you, you really know? just say we'll be 80? or no, 60, else? 20 years I from now. I hope I live to see 80. 20 years from now, I said. Don't worry, baby. I'll, I'll change your diapers and stuff. I'm going to have a robot for that. <laughs> Elon Musk is building it for me. Oh, my goodness. That's right. <laughs> Shout out to Elon and Tesla. <laughs> Can't say I'm a Tesla she fan. Hates I hate Tesla. All right, so that kind of sums it up, guys. <laughs> Talk about the, the wedding details, uh, you know, and compromise if you need to. Important. You know, think about what's going to be best for your family, your relationship going forward, and try to make all parties as happy as possible, um, especially your wife, you know. They're going to want special things. Try to do the best you can with giving them that and making it special for their day and for yours. Yeah, if you guys haven't had, like, you know, the whole wedding talk yet, um, maybe pick up on the hints. If they're drop, dropping the hints, like, to get the ring, there's lots of hints that they'll give yeah. you to get the ring. Or they might and, say something. And, or... <laughs> and make sure you start looking at the numbers before you start saying, oh, yeah, we're going to do that, all that, whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> you start, like, oh. What? No, don't do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this is just some more tips and tricks for me and Sharice, uh, our life experience, you know, especially on this one. Mm-hmm. And we know a lot of other people in both categories of what mm-hmm. this is. So at that point, you guys have to make the decision for yourselves, make the best decision you possibly can. Talk to your significant other because communication is key. Yes. So this is just another thing for me and Sharice to you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to another Cupid's Corner. Join us every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. And if you didn't DVR it, you should do that now. But if you didn't after that, make sure you guys go to YouTube. Check out Titan Medical Center. Just type that in. It'll take you to our channel. You'll be able to see all these shows in their entirety and a lot more cool content I guarantee you guys are going to love. And you know what? If you want to check out our therapies on there, they could help your love life and your relationship too. So you can always check that out. All right, guys. I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you next week for another Cupid's Corner. Bye.